Hello everyone, my name is Devon, welcome to my channel and today I want to talk about my sexuality. If you're hearing any annoying noises in the background, my neighbors are moving in and they're like renovating the entire place and it's fucking annoying but I cannot help it, I'm sorry. When I was younger and I still identified as female, I kind of only dated boys and I never really looked at girls because I just assumed that I was a girl so I dated boys. But then when I transitioned I was kind of like, my friends always used to point out like look that's, that's a cute girl you know you wanna, you wanna date her and only at that time like maybe a year or two years ago I started going like looking at girls like people that you could actually date like that was kind of a turning point in my life like I never realized that you could date girls because I used to be a girl and even if I transitioned as a boy so I was like yeah but I always like boys so I just like boys but that was not the case and now I look at girls and I look like wow that girl's really cute I would like to date her <laughs> so when I was younger I used to identify as straight and then I went to identifying as bisexual and right now not that I am a man and I do still like boys but I just tend to like girls a little bit more, but that's just, nobody gives a shit, I like boys and girls. And, so that would make me bisexual, but I would also like agendas, trigenders, transgenders, every person under the spectrum, I can like you, I can go, in, I can watch you in the street and go like, you're a cool person, I could date you, like, I don't blank out anyone, anyone with a good personality is dateable for me. So, that would make me pansexual. So after I figured out that I was an FGM transgender, so I was male, and I figured out that I was pansexual, there still seemed something wrong with me. Like, I felt that there was something wrong, because I did like boys and girls and everybody else under the spectrum, but I never really wanted to like, I did want to date them in a certain way, but I never really wanted to have sex with anyone, because that just sort of scared me, like, for me, having sex is like you're together forever it's sort of no sex before marriage thing but just in my head like I don't want to have sex with you if I don't want to spend the rest of my life with you and that was really confusing for me because everybody else around me just goes like ah cool girl right, fuck her and I was like would you really or are you just saying that but they they really do and I was like how come I cannot just do that or at least say that I can so I don't really exactly know when it was that I found out but I just I think it was probably just a few months ago I found out that demisexual and that just 100% completely suits me that's just who I am so I am transgender pansexual and demisexual demisexual is just some sort of term that you need to have a strong emotional connection with someone before you can even consider having sex with them. And the main thing in that is when you have a best friend, you get confused because you're my best friend, so I love you in a way of best friendship, but I have such a strong emotional connection with you that I could actually date you because we're having that strong emotional connection. So that that's just a turning point, like, are we best friends or can I possibly date you and that's just a bit fucked up because I don't want to ruin a really good friendship but sometimes I do love them in a way that I'm just going like fucking how I would love to spend the rest of my life with you in the end though you can only do what feels right for you even when other people project their own feelings and insecurities on you the romantic world is difficult to navigate in and no matter how you feel or don't feel about sex, the best thing you can do is just trust your guts and stick with it. Being demisexual in this time of date is just kind of difficult because we're always kind of one swipe away from that next relationship. And for a demisexual, that's pretty difficult because we do see the outside and we do care kind of about the outside. Like, I can be on the train station with my friends going like, I would fuck that person and in my head I would say, if I knew their personalities, if their personalities were great and if I had a strong personal and emotional connection with them then I could have had sex with them I cannot just swipe make an appointment go there have sex and never ever see that person in the rest of my life I just my head just don't work that way and <sighs> so if you want to date me call me 06 blah 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 <laughs> never gonna happen 
Never gonna give you up. Never gonna blah blah blah. Chicken dance. <laughs> I just want you guys to remember that there are possibly a thousand and even more sexualities out there. And if you haven't found the right one yet, you don't have to stick with one that doesn't feel 100% you. And if there's just no label for you, create it. Or just don't take a label at all if you don't want it. I think labels are kind of easy because everybody then knows, oh, you're talking about bisexual, you like boys and girls, oh, you're talking about pansexual, you like everybody under the umbrella. But you don't have to get a label. And if you feel a certain way, express it. And maybe someone knows what kind of box you fit in if you want to be in there. So just don't worry about your sexuality. Don't worry about your gender. It will all fall in place one day. I promise. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Leave a like and a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't been subscribed yet. I hope you liked the week of uploads. And then I'll see you guys next week. Bye!